Hey guys, today feeling, I'm all right. Feeling like everything in the world is gonna be okay because we have pesto in the house. Kale pesto, here we go. All right, kale pesto in the Vitamix. We're doing a drop chop today. We're actually gonna turn the Vitamix on low speed and drop in the kale and the basil from the top through the lid plug. Very important, make sure you have the top on, but take the plug out. We're using the recipe from our website, lifeisnoyolk.com. It's made for a 48 ounce container or a classic 64, one with the narrow body. So if you only have the container that came with your Vitamix, very likely it's a low profile 64 ounce container, a wide bodied container, you're gonna wanna double the recipe. You'll see why in a second. So we'll put in two cups of kale, drop it in, let it get chopped up one half cup of basil. Next, we'll add a quarter cup of pine nuts. And hey, if you have little ones helping you, put the handle on the opposite side so they don't pull it down. Next, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, one quarter cup of oil. We're using olive oil. If you're whole food plant-based and don't use oil, maybe you could use avocado. Two cloves of garlic, salt and pepper to taste. Now look, everything got mixed around with, without doubling the recipe, but not really. And even if you try and put the tamper in, the tamper's not gonna be able to reach it because we don't have enough. Double the recipe, it'll work just great. So we're switching over to the narrow bodied 48 ounce container to, to finish processing this pesto. We don't wanna get any higher than about variable speed three or four. We're not trying to make a pesto smoothie here. We're trying to maintain a little bit of consistency. And then after about 20 seconds, you have pesto. Pesto that's supercharged with superfood. Great way to sneak some greens into your kids' food. Our little guy loves pesto. He'll eat it straight off the spatula on some bow tie pasta, throw it on a sandwich. This is a turkey gouda sandwich, so smoked tofurkey, follow your heart gouda on Dave's killer bread. And feeding kids aside, having pesto in the house, something about it, well, We've been sheltering a place for the last three weeks and shout out to an old friend, Kathy, who runs healthyhappylife.com, also finding vegan. And she asked, what's one vegan meal or snack that's saving you right now in quarantine life? I said green juice is always kind of keeping us kind of regular, feeling good. But I said, you know what? We just made pesto and it brings quality of life up a nice little bit. This recipe makes about eight ounces of pesto. Double it, you got 16. Put it on sandwiches, put it on pasta. Guys, our world has changed since COVID-19. And for us, our fridge will probably always have pesto. Just makes life a little bit better. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. If you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you, you want to try? in the next one. Yeah. Try that out. Okay. It's good. That's good. Do you want me to film you guys trying and feeding it to them? Yeah. Can I have a bite us? Feed me a bite. Can you feed that one to Dada? <laughs> oh. Is it good? Delicious. Really good. Dad, is it good? Delicious. Can I kiss him? I mean, how delicious. You can have as much as you want.